Thanks to at home for joining us this hour. Happy to have you here. We've got some pretty incredible guests on our show tonight. Uh, I'm really looking forward to all three of the people we're going to be hosting. It's going to be a big evening. Glad to have you here. Uh, Patricia McKnight is an undergrad at the University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee. She's a double major. She's also working as an intern at the Journal Sentinel, which is the biggest newspaper in Milwaukee. And today, that intern at that paper, Patricia McKnight, took this picture, which is pretty much the photo of the day in American news. It shows a line outside Washington High School in Milwaukee today. It's a line to vote. In the foreground, you see a Milwaukee resident named Jennifer Taff holding that sign. This is ridiculous. Ms. Taff told the paper by way of explanation for her sign, quote, I'm disgusted. I requested an absentee ballot almost three weeks ago and never got it. I have a father dying from lung disease, and I have to risk my life and his just to exercise my right to vote. At the time, this intrepid intern, Patricia McKnight, uh, took this photo for the Journal Sentinel. Uh, Jennifer Taft told the paper she had already been in line for almost two hours. Over the course of the day today in Milwaukee, Wisconsin's largest city, the wait time to vote ranged from about an hour and a half to about two and a half hours on average. The New York Times sent reporters to cover this remarkable, or should I say, ridiculous vote today as well. One New York Times reporter uh, <laughs> saying that uh, across town um, from the Washington High School in Milwaukee at Alexander Hamilton High School in Milwaukee, that high school's parking lot was completely filled with cars before daybreak today. And by 8 a.m. at Alexander Hamilton High School, the line to vote was more than 300 people long. The voting lines were stunning all over Wisconsin today, not just because it shouldn't be this hard to vote in normal times, uh, but because the Republican-led legislature in Wisconsin, aided by a conservatives-only state Supreme Court majority and a conservatives-only U.S. Supreme Court majority, all insisted that this was what people had to be put through in Wisconsin today if they had the temerity to still show up to vote. The Surgeon General of the United States went on the Today Show on NBC this morning and begged that people in Wisconsin who were turning out to vote today should please keep six feet apart. Please keep their faces covered with some kind of cloth covering or mask. And, and you can see from the images of people valiantly lining up to vote in Wisconsin today that a lot of people did that. But you can also see just these harrowing images of old people, sick people, People needing physical assistance to stay in line and to get into their polling places. People literally in mortal danger from turning out in these circumstances and turning out nonetheless. Wisconsin Republicans insisted that this election couldn't be moved, like all the other elections this month were moved in every other state in the country. They insisted that it couldn't be all mail-in ballots for this election. They insisted that this election couldn't even have the deadlines extended for people to mail in their ballots. Wisconsin Republicans and the conservative majorities on those two courts insisted that people would have to do it this way if they wanted to vote. You don't really want to vote. You know what we're going to put you through if you want to? But Wisconsin voters turned out literally took their lives in their hands for no reason other than that the Republican Party believes that a lower turnout election equals better chances for Republican candidates. And what a better way to achieve a low turnout election than forcing the vote in the middle of a pandemic, forcing voters to defy the stay at home order that thus far has kept Wisconsin's coronavirus caseload to between 2000 and 2500 cases ish. After today, though, who knows? Here's the Republican speaker of the Wisconsin State Legislature, Robin Voss, uh, in what will become the other defining image of today's news. You are incredibly safe to go out. You are incredibly safe to go out, he says. He is the Republican leader in Wisconsin who did more than anybody else to force this in-person election today in Wisconsin, for people to force people to show up in person. Let's just play this one more time. You can see here, he is in a full PPE gown and gloves and a medical mask. That's how he's going out today. But he's assuring everyone in his state that there's no problem. It is perfectly safe for you to go out. Just look at him. Look how safe he is. You are incredibly safe to go out. You are incredibly safe to go out. Don't you feel safer just looking at me? What, you don't have this? You don't have this kind of equipment? 
Wisconsin's not even going to count the ballots until next week. But presumably the Republicans got what they wanted today from holding this election and what was deliberately the most dangerous way to do it. So they got, they got what they wanted today in Wisconsin.